It's your boy Jonah, back with another commentary to please you all. My last commentary wasn't the best, so I thought I'd talk about something I actually know. That being Pokemon. Again, into hoops and hip- wait, wait, wait. Into hoops and hip hop, who made a video on what he believes to be the worst fully evolved Pokemon. And the video is bad. So bad, in fact, that he better prepare for trouble. <laughs> Somebody just kill me now, please. Oh yeah, and I'm skipping the intro, but there's one thing that really bugs me here. As we all know, there are some Pokemon out there that basically suck. Of course everyone is entitled to their opinion, but there are some Pokemon out there that pretty much everyone agrees are awful. Oh, great job thinking everybody has to have the same opinion as you. Also remember, this is going to bite him in the butt several times in the video. Okay, the first Pokemon on this list is none other than Sunflora. I've heard a lot of people bag on Sunflora over the years. Really? Because I sure haven't at all. Never say anything like that unless you're showing a screenshot from a forum or some other website. And while I don't really have some sort of personal beef with it, I can agree that it's pretty bad. Firstly, its stats are quite terrible, and usually I'm not one to hate on a Pokemon just because of bad stats, but it just adds insult to injury when this Pokemon is literally a sunflower with a face. Billy! Billy! Let's look over those stats you decided to show real quick. Mm, okay, 75, that's decent. Attack, 75, decent. Defense, oh, defense is terrible. How is this special attack st- How is 105 a bad special attack stat? Okay, sure, his other stats are mediocre at best. This is all vendors mute when- Wait, 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 Jonah. Get to that later. Get to that later. Sure, there are other Pokemon that fall into this uncreative category, like Execute, for example, but at least Execute has the tiniest bit of creativity and that each egg, or seed if you prefer, has a different personality. Sunflora doesn't have any of that. It's just a sunflower. That's it. Nothing cool, no good moves or abilities or anything. No good moves, huh? Okay then, let's go over them real quick. Level 7, some floor gets Grass Whistle, Grass type move that puts opponents to sleep. Level 34, Solar Beam. That's not even going in the TM. Some floor gets access to Light Screen, which half the attack of Special Attackers. It also gets access to Sludge Bomb, the barely one of the best Poison type moves in the game. Oh, and what do you know? It gets Sunny Death! And what was that you said about some floor earlier, having no good abilities? Well, it turns out that some floor having access to Sunny Day benefits both of her abilities. I mean, it. Oh no, I'm gender stereotyping. Somebody help me. Remember Sunflora having terrible speed? It has access to Chlorophyll. So when you use Sunny Day, its speed is doubled, thereby negating that. And then there's Solar Power, which drastically raises the Pokemon's attack and special attack stat when Sunny Day is being used. Having access to these two abilities and equipping a Life Orb onto it makes Sunflora a very usable sweeper. I mean, for crying out loud, it's good enough to be in the PU tier at least. Is this really what the whole list is going to be like? Really? Arceus, strike me down now! Please! Oh wait, no, bad idea. I don't want to get copyrighted by digital time. At least its pre-evolution Sunkern is cute, but Sunflora doesn't even have that going for it. Unfortunately, it's just one of those Pokemon that will never get much love at all. Cause it wouldn't be in PU unless nobody liked it at all. And boy! You lucky this ain't Mystery Dungeoners, I would come after you. Next up at the number 4 spot is Ambipom. The reason why I personally do not like Ambipom is because it ruined Apom for me. Apom is a cool Pokemon despite being just a normal type. Despite being just a normal type? Looks like we got a Pokemon racist on our hands. SOMEBODY GET HIM NOW! But Ambipom ruins that by being really freaking ugly. You know, even the designs are subjective, and not everybody will have the same opinion as you, therefore you shouldn't say it's real ugly. WHEN IT'S NOT A LEAST FAVORITE LIST! Oh yeah, and great job in explaining what makes Apom cute.
Its base stats definitely aren't the greatest either. Depending on the higher base stat total, it's higher than the one with the lower stat total. Never mind how unlike some flora, this Pokemon has two stats that are above the hundreds. But yeah, anybody else knows how his footage is showing Ambipon doing really good? Quality footage? What's that? And it could have been so much better. The concept of it having two tails and being ambidextrous as its name implies is a good one, but it ended up as a wasted opportunity that just did not work out very well. Okay then, what tier is Ambipom in? It's an RU. Which is better than freaking PU, you pleb! In fact, Ambipom's one of the better Pokemon in RU. You wanna know why? Three words. High. Attack. Stat. First off, let's look at Ambipom's ability. Technician. Which boosts Pokemon moves under 40 power, and doubles it. You know what move Ambipom has that's useful with this ability? Fake Out, which is useful not only in the metagame, but since Ambipom's a normal type move, you have Stab. Don't even get me started on Knock Off. Everybody knows how deadly that move is. Just like with some Flora, this Pokemon can be used to sweep teams and it's extremely good at it. But you ignored this. Why? Cause boo hoo! I don't like its design, and that's more useful than its abilities in battle. And speaking of a stab bonus, I know something else that wants stab right now. <laughs>Three is another monkey Pokemon, and I'll give you about three seconds to guess who it is. You? Because from what I've seen so far, you've been making a monkey out of yourself this entire video. Yeah, I'm sure most of you are thinking the same thing, because number three is Simipore. Or you know, some people might not just like Infernape. Am I gonna have to reinstate this point multiple times? This Pokemon is honestly just the butt of a lot of people's jokes, and for good reason. Where? I mean, sure, I've seen plenty of videos bashing this Pokemon. But anywhere else that isn't YouTube, any forums. Its design is very meh right off the bat, but the kicker is its gender ratio. This Pokemon is male 87.5% of the time. This Pokemon, with the feminine hair, and the dress for crying out loud. You know, cause men just aren't allowed to cross dress at all. Wow, I just realized how ironic that statement is considering the avatar I'm using right now. As much as I'd like to yell you for gender stereotyping, there's also the question of what is a bad thing. I mean, aren't male Pokemon supposed to be stronger than female Pokemon in the game? Besides, Simapore isn't even the only Pokemon that has something like this. I mean, Azuma roll anybody? 87.5% male. The entire family of elemental monkeys are generally disliked as a whole, but Simipore definitely sticks out as the worst of the bunch. Really? You're not even gonna cover stats this time? I'm not gonna mention I was in PU, an offensive sweeper that can be useful for life orb, has a good variety of moves in Hydro Pump, Knock Off, Grass Up Knot, so many more moves, and a really, really good speed stat. Also, why is this zooming in on my face so much? Help! Help! I don't like cramped spaces! Help! So, Cinepore is probably one of the most liked out of the Elemental Monkeys, so. no you. I don't care, I said it! Come at me, bro! So remember when I mentioned that the reason I don't like Ambipom is because it's got an ugly design and it evolved from a Pokemon with a cool design? Well, the Pokemon at number 2 takes that same idea to the next level, and that Pokemon would be Aromatisse. Okay, something that's been bugging me a lot with Poketubers. Judging a Pokemon by its design is petty. Design don't make the Pokemon. The stats do. You know what Pokemon I consider ugly? Gyarados. If I don't consider it bad, because its stats are amazing. On top of that, you'd think that Game Freak would have been a little more careful in making Aromatisse look as good as possible because it helped to introduce the fairy type in Pokemon X and Y. However, its design looks bad, and it fell well short of expectations, earning it the number two spot on the countdown. I mean it fell under your expectations. Stop enforcing your opinions on others, man! It's too heavy and it's squishing them all to death. Also, are you old? Do you have all timers or something? Because you seem to keep forgetting stats, and moves, and how to make a good countdown. Aromatis is aromatherapy, which heals your team's status conditions. Moonblast, which is a great fairy type move. Fish, which heals it back a fair amount over the two turns and protect. That is all. Oh wait, and it's are you? Which is still higher than some floor-
Before we get to number one, I'd like to give an honorable mention to Incineroar. Nope, no, 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 screw you. Walking on hind legs isn't bad. Being a vessel like Emboy isn't bad. These reasons are petty as heck. Go away. Finally, my number one worst fully evolved Pokemon is Delphox. No. No, 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 no. But its final no. evolution would no, be. No, 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 no. I got even no. more hype when no, I said no, its no, final no, no, evolution no. was gonna be Fire Psychic. On top of that, so many people were trying to predict what it may look like. Amazing ideas were shown, and then we get this thing. Delphox is one of the most disappointing evolutions to a starter I've ever seen. Hey guys! Am I popular yet? What? No, 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 I know I only have 15 subscribers, not me, him! Oh boy, where do we begin? Well, first off, seeing as how it is number one on the list, Delphox is the best example of a bad evolution. It starts off totally awesome as a Fennekin, then, how the then it evolves into breaks in where some of its witch characteristics start to shine through. And at this point, if you were like me, you were probably thinking, ooh, a fox witch Pokemon? That's so awesome. It's probably going to be a fire psychic type. I can't wait to see its fully evolved form. Then at level 36, it starts evolving, and I was so excited to finally see what it was going to turn into. And then Delphox appeared, and I was just like, no! No, God. Get that overused media clip out of here. The thing that turned me off first was its dress thing that it's got going on with the lower half of its body. To me, it made it look a lot more bulkier than I was expecting, and not in the sense that I thought it was going to be a tank-like Pokemon, but in the sense that its design was infinitely less sleeker than it could have been. Less sleek. Less sleek. It's literally wearing a robe. What are your standards for sleek? I mean, that's kind of like the trademark characteristic of foxes. They're sleek looking animals. Even other fox Pokemon such as Ninetales reflect this, but with Delphox they took all that sleekness away and replaced it with all the awkward and ugly looking attributes that they could think of. I'm also not a fan of its wand that it uses for its attacks. I know Brakeson uses that too, but at least Brakeson's wand works into its design with its tail. Alzo! Elaboration, Mother Trucker, do you speak it? You know what? Screw it. I'm done. What, were you expecting him to talk about stats and move pools? Well, guess what? He doesn't. Again. Oh, the problems. Where do I begin? First off, this is called Worst Fully Evolved Pokemon, and yeah, it should have been called Worst Design Fully Evolved Pokemon. Because the only time you brought up stats, it still wasn't good. And then there's the everybody will agree this Pokemon sucks thing. Not everybody will have the same opinion as you. My advice is to actually do research on the Pokemon. You know what? Screw James. I'm switching to my Lucia so I have the excuse to do this. I And everything is right again. <laughs> 